In this video, I want to introduce you to a cut. Now, a cut, what it does is it partitions the vertices into two groups. One group has the source and one group has the sink. OK, so an example of this and the way that we write it is we use curly brackets and we could have S and A, for example, in one set. And in the other set, we've then got B, C, D and T. OK, so we've got two distinct sets, um, one that has the source one that has the sink. And what we do visually is actually have a cut going through the network. So this will cut through the network, usually done with a dash line, like I've done there. Okay. And the way that you can kind of imagine it is what if you actually physically cut those pipes? Okay. What would be the flow through the system? or what would be the flow out onto the floor, essentially. So it kind of creates like this big puddle, if you like, right? And when you make that cut. So when you are doing this, you are looking at the arcs that you are cutting through, OK? And you count only the capacities that are going from the source set to the sink set, okay? So you count those only. If you've got an arrow that is going from the sink set to the source set, then it contributes zero, okay? And what it gives you, the value that it gives you, is the maximum flow um, through that pipe, that setup, okay, those pipes, um, with no regard to the rest of the network. So essentially what I'm saying there is that the value that you get may or may not be an actual feasible flow through the network. Okay, so in our case, because we've cut through 10, 5 and 12, and these are going from the source set to the sync set in all three cases, the value of this cut is 10 plus 5 plus 12. So that would be 27. OK, so that is what we mean by a cut. And we can make cuts in lots of different ways. So let's just erase that cut, for example, like so. And we can make another cut. Let's say we've got, uh, as another example, um, S. Uh, let's have B and D. And in the other set, we've got A, uh, C, and T, for example. So where would the cut actually be? So we'd be cutting through here. OK, so what would be the value of that cut? Well, um, you've got S to A. That's going from the source set to the sink set. So you'd have 13. You've got B going to C, OK, source set to sink set. So remember, we're going from that to that. So 5 would be included. Now, the 5 going along from A to D, although that edge is being cut, you're going from one in the sink set there to one in the source set. So that's not included. So we ignore that one. And then we've got D to T, which is going from the source set to the sink set. So plus 12. So then we've got 13 plus 5 is 18 plus 12 gets us 30. OK, so this is how we can find the value of a cut. Now, in the next video, we're going to consider how we can actually work out how this helps us find the maximum flow.